Hello there, internet dwellers. Welcome back to another video. Today, we have a different kind of video for you today. It's not something I would usually cover on my channel, but it is in the same vein as what I usually do, aka horror. This is a video called The Worm Animated Horror Story, and it was recommended to me on my Discord by Nightmare. So thank you for the recommendation, Nightmare. It's by a channel called Don't Walk Home Alone After Dark. These guys have three videos on their channel, but they seem to be very, very popular. But I could probably see why from the quality of the animation. So I was very intrigued as to um what this is about and why this is so popular i believe that the person behind this is responsible for another channel be sure to go and support the creators guys go put this in a muted tab or go watch it in your spare time just give these guys some watch time go like the video subscribe all that good stuff if you enjoy my reaction why not leave a like rate and subscribe we're just going to jump straight into this so the description says a psychologist attempts to uncover the mysteries behind his teenage patient's strange behavior and finds more than he bargained for well, i used to react to the scp tales or something like that the channel and that was kind of popular on my channel for a little bit but then it kind of died down so i'm not sure how this one will perform if you guys will enjoy this one but i like to watch things of quality and this looks like it's quality so let's just jump straight into this turn this up damn look at this Is this a copyrightable song? Uh-oh. Damn. Is this a dream? Bad dream, maybe? Well, I don't... Hmm. Hello? Okay. Let's look into the car. Oh, wow. I like that. A touch of 3D in there as well. That's pretty cool. I like that. Something unique about 2D art styles that kind of interact with the 3D world. What did he just say? Or it just say? Wow, look at this. Damn. Now, I'm not an artist. I don't have to be an artist to appreciate that that looks dope. Oh, is that a freaking... Wee! Ooh, okay. Oh, man. No. No. She's having the dream again. Free me. What was it, a tapeworm? <laughs> it's not funny, Ryan. Don't ever say that again. So what's this? X I I V. What? I wasn't given much time to go over her case file before our first appointment, but from what I had read, I half expected some kind of uncontrollable monster to walk through the door. She wasn't anything like that. Hmm. Okay. She was quiet and guarded, smaller in person than what I had imagined from her photograph. Okay. A perfectly normal 17-year-old girl. What's well, perfectly normal that nowadays? It even harder to believe she was capable of doing the things that she did. What did she do? She was the last surviving member of the so-called Woodfield Five. Ooh, okay. A group of kids all from the same remote northern town who suffered a series of unexplained at times violent mental breaks. Oh shit, okay, interesting. Clinical notes suggested some kind of shared psychosis mm. though unlike anything i'd ever heard of in my 20-year practice damn By must be quite counts, it must be quite rewarding to be a psychologist uh, but at the same time it must be very damaging on the uh, psyche you can't be you can't be weak-minded when you go you're becoming a therapist or a psychologist because you're going to hear some very damning stuff hang on what's going on here Five dead in murder-suicide teenage survivor in custody. Uh, a quiet cake. He was rocked yesterday. Five lives were lost. Describing as a murder-suicide attempt. Uh, could a residents on Southern Street sending shockwaves through this tight-knit neighborhood. The victims included four youths and an unidentified adult male were discovered. 
What's that say? Munich, Munichapal? What? Mu, mu, shut up. Arrived at the scene late Friday night. One teenage girl who miraculously survived the ordeal has been taken into custody by local authorities after receiving medical treatment. Her identity has not been disclosed and investigators are working diligently to understand her connection to the tragic event. Neighbours and friends expressed their shock and grief and gathered near the scene trying to make sense of the horrific thing that has befallen their beloved community. I'm guessing that's what that says. Sarah Johnson and neighbours said tearfully, we can't believe this has happened. This is a nightmare. Local authorities are currently conducting a thorough investigation to determine the motives behind this horrifying act and to establish the identities of the victims. Police spokesperson Detective Luke Anderson issued a statement saying, we are committed to uncovering the truth behind this tragedy and providing closure to the victims' families. Our thoughts are with them during this time. Neighbours have organised uh, something of the victims' which will take place this evening at Evans, blah, 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 coming together to support each other at this unimaginable event. Uh, okay. Interesting. The Woodfield Five, so that they were murder-suicide. No indications of behavioral difficulty, good grades in school, active social life, no family history of mental illness to speak of. Her mother had been part of some offbeat spiritual commune years earlier, but had mm -hmm. left that behind when Sparrow was quite young and eventually remarried. Okay. There was nothing to suggest any kind of underlying trauma or abuse. What is that, that on the right there? In my life. What does that say? Something there's phobias here. Spasmagaliophobia. Work. That's not always so obvious. It's also a reserved teenager. The exhibits. only path to understanding what really happened in Woodfield was Sparrow herself. Hmm. And that would prove more difficult than anyone anticipated. Okay. Wow, this I man means very business. little over the first weeks of our sessions together. Sparrow was often uncooperative, careful never to allow the growing familiarity between us to weaken her resolve. Mm. I was not as strong. I became... Gotta say, good story writing so far. Good writing and good voice acting. ...reasonably attached to her. Uh-oh. The endless Ooh. medical diagnostics revealed nothing we didn't already know. She barely slept. The scratches on her arms were self-inflicted. Mm -hmm. And aside from high blood pressure, she was physically healthy. No one was certain about what exactly was wrong with her. Right. And she was getting worse. So was that a dream she had? Like, whilst being in uh, this facility or whatever? The weeks turned to months, and I was running out of time. Hmm. The courts had determined that unless I could demonstrate conclusive progress in her treatment, Sparrow would be transferred to an isolated psychiatric ward and out of my care. Oh dear. I could have walked away at that point. Oh, I and I did. Should have. But what I wanted, what I've always wanted, was answers. After all that we'd been through, she wasn't a kid to me anymore. Mm-hmm. She wasn't a monster either. Damn, this, she this guy never blinks. She was a puzzle to solve. Sodium pentothal can be administered to induce something called narcosynthesis. A state between asleep and awake where the subject is highly suggestible. Uh-oh. In most places today, the practice is frowned upon. I can imagine why. Only I would never consider such a treatment, but given the circumstances, my options were limited. Mm. I knew full well that this could risk professional censure, perhaps even my career itself. But I don't give a shit. It matter at the time. Oh. Who's out the door? Oh, okay. After the injection, Sparrow was brought to my oh, okay, office. Okay, so that was like the nurse. We were left alone and I asked her to count backwards from 10. Mm -hmm. Though before she even got to five, it was clear she knew something was wrong. Uh-oh. 
That was like when I when I was being put to sleep to have like loads of my te like my wisdom teeth and a few other teeth removed because I had too many teeth in my mouth. I was like, a, I don't know how to explain it. Yeah, that was way too many teeth in my small little mouth. I remember when they was like, I just need you to count down from 10. And I remember like when I got down to about five, my heart spiked because I was like, oh, I know what they're trying to do. They're trying to put me to sleep. And then I, I fell asleep. <laughs> her breathing became shallow uh -oh. and her eyes darted around rapidly. She began mm. talking about a mist coming into the room that only she could see. Oh dear. She could hear a voice from within it calling to her. To free her. Free it. Free the me. The drug had disoriented her to such a degree that I don't even think she recognized me. You weren't there anymore, Doc. Sparrow's small size and chronic fatigue made the dosage I administered tricky. She mm -hmm. drifted in and out for several minutes. When Lucid I redirected her, asking if she could tell me what the voice she heard was saying. After a long pause... So it's kind of like hypnotherapy, whispered, in a way. Little bird. Little pig. At little that point, fish. Sparrow was not interested in answering any of my questions. She just spoke. Oh, okay. And I listened. Interesting. She said that it knew. It knew that was what he used to call her. Oh. The old man. The old man. But the voice wasn't a man's. It was something else. What was she it? She said it comes a with woman? the mist. That it takes things from you and it grows. Adding to what it's taken from others. It sounds like depression, this does, doesn't it? It eats you from the inside. Yeah. She didn't know it's- I can't help but see this as like an open mouth. And he's like, just kind of always got that- I know it's a moustache, but I can't help but- I, My brain's weird. Name, but called it... The Worm. The Worm. Like a brain worm. As Sparrow lapsed into unconsciousness, I was left with more questions than answers. Sparrow. That's a nice name, isn't I it? I arranged to have her return to her room and resign myself to the idea that I might never get the chance to understand the truth. That I had failed. I destroyed the records of our last session to prevent the review board from finding out what I had done. Oh shit, okay. It was over. Or at oh. least, that's what I thought. Uh-oh. So this is kind of... It yeah. was that night the dream started. Oh no. You just had to go there, didn't you, Doc? Now you're screwed. Now the worm's got you. Brain-eating amoeba. Or is it amoeba? 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 I don't know. What's going on over here? You know, I'd love to do voice, voice acting for certain things. I should probably put myself out there a bit more. Um, maybe get some voice voice lessons. I don't think it would be so fun. You know what would be really fun, I think, is like doing mocap stuff. Like um, Uncharted and God of War and stuff like that. The way they did it. I think it's really good. I just need to dive deep into my emotions. Wasn't funny, right? There she is. It's like Stranger Things. Okay, sorry. Wait. Come back! What are you doing? Hi! The car monster! Oh no, it's smoke, never mind. Oh, okay, never mind, it could be. Oh wow, that's so freaking cool. Swallowed by the earth. Ooh, go on. Swim down there. Salvation awaits. I had a dream that I went to a water planet. It reminds me of this. But there were there were Zoras knocking about from Zelda. Just chilling there. And for some reason I could breathe underwater. But then all of a sudden in my head I was thinking of Subnautica. Sparrow. What? Man. Doctor. I'm so hungry. It is. So hungry. 
like Mother from Happy Meat Fans. Oh, good lord. Way! Holy shit. That was amazing. It reminded me of uh, the end. I sleep, it's the no, same. I can't say that. I will spoil it. It doesn't really matter how the dream begins. Eventually, the mist will come. And with the mist, always comes the worm. The worm. Just like she said it would. You okay. Can't run. That never works. It won't let you. Okay, so how did it the spread over to him? The hope for is that you wake up quick. Before it begins to feed. Wake up before it begins to feed. What well, is this I like Freddy Krueger but a worm? Go away. It could be a simple anxiety-induced aberration brought on by the stress of dealing with the case. Yeah. But it well. was soon obvious that wasn't it. Mm-hmm. So... The nightmares didn't stop. Why don't you ask Sparrow? I couldn't Sparrow? sleep. I couldn't eat. It wasn't long before my colleagues began to take notice. Mm. Things got so bad I had no other choice. I called in every favor, pulled every string I could, and arranged access to Sparrow at her current facility. Ah, okay. Go straight I to the source. answers more than ever. And she still had them. Mm-hmm. Oh man, I love the uh, like the um, what do you I call it? The framing, and, like the cinematography. I didn't recognize her at first. It's really good. She strong and alert. And like the lighting the and everything, so good. The tired girl that I had spent all that time with. I didn't have to ask any questions this time. Hmm. Just by looking at me, she knew all too well what was happening. We sat down. And Sparrow Moon gave me what I needed. Okay. Which was? The worm is some kind of parasite. Ah. A pathogen. An ancient thing passed from host to host. How did it pass them? In their dreams. Feeding on their deepest fears. It will not stop. Always hungry for more. It won't kill you. It doesn't want you dead. Mm. It wants what any good virus wants. To, to propagate. Oh. To be passed on. Yeah. To be fed. Sparrow tried to hold it inside of her. To oh. protect others. That's why she, she was so... She thought that if she could fight it long enough, it would die with her. She passed the worm to me the same way that it had been passed to her. How? Just by telling me about it. Oh, shit. Oh, hang on. You told me about it now. You son of a bitch. Leave me. I am sorry for this. Oh, you son of a bitch. Now that I've told you, I don't know when. But sooner or later in your dreams, the mist will come. This is... You know what this is? This is an info hazard right here. How dare you? And with the mist... Always comes the worm. The worm? Oh, well, shit. Shit on a brick. Man, I like this channel. I like the way it's put together. The sound design, the music, the animation, the storytelling. Mwah! Very good. There's another video that they done over a year ago. I'm going to subscribe and like. You guys definitely should as well. But the Pine Creepers. So if you guys want me to check out that one, let me know. But... I love the way this was put together. That was really, really cool. Like a lot of talent, a lot of creativity, talent and hard work went into that. And I can only hope that the algorithm really does pick up. It looks like they are already. Like this was uploaded five days ago, 207,000 views. I really enjoyed that. And you guys should definitely go check that out. Go watch it for yourself. Go like and subscribe, all that good stuff. Once again, if you want me to watch the other video, let me know down below and uh, maybe I'll give it a shot. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you did enjoy and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys.